You know, there's nothing better than getting up early in the morning and going game hunting. Welcome to the Poor Man's Retro Game Room, and I had a pretty good week uh, with trades inside my retro group, and uh, I made a few purchases off of eBay, but I also had a pretty good uh, score at a garage sale this morning, and um, have worked on cleaning some of that stuff up, and uh, I'm gonna I'm fixing to show that to you here uh, shortly as well. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get into um, this week's pickup trades, and I even received a pay it forward, and I'll get into that too. All right, so the first uh, thing that we're gonna cover is the pickups. Uh, and this was picked up today at a garage sale. There's a guy that uh, is outside the city limits, lives on a farm, um, and he has a garage sale at least every other weekend. And what he does is he buys lockers and then he sells stuff. And uh, man, you never know what you're gonna find out there. It's really awesome. Uh, the dude's an honest guy, uh, so it, it was cool to go out there. Um, he has realized a little bit more what the value of um, retro games are, so <laughs> the prices went up a bit, um, but still finding some deals, and he still dickered with me a little bit today, so I got a good deal. I'm happy with it. So he had a box out there with uh, SNES and NES stuff, um, both systems, SNES and an NES, controllers, all their hookups, OEM power supplies, uh, and games and you can look how dirty uh, this stuff was um, so I I, uh, <laughs> I gave him a, a price bought the whole box and here are the games that I got out of it uh, games to note of course is Legend of Zelda um, Super Mario Brothers All-Stars uh, Battle Toads in Battle Maniacs. I'm really pumped about that. I love beat em ups, and this one looks cool, and I've never played it, so um, I'm very, very pumped about that. Uh, of course, then I had to test these systems, so we're going to take a look at the SNES, and you can see I've never picked up an SNES that looked like this before. Th this is the worst shape as far as dirty I have ever seen in SNES. Uh, it's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> so, picked it up, plugged it in, um, it, man, it was, it's hard, it was hard to handle just the, <laughs> the filth that was on it, but check it out, it worked, it's unbelievable. Um, and then we're going to take a look at the NES, and we got the NES, uh, to work in as well. I used clean games, you know, of course. And the NES, you know, it's got that same issue where, but you know what, it wasn't bad. I had to kind of fiddle with it um, a little bit, put the game in and out, make sure that it was in the right position when I pushed it down, and voila, it worked. Yeah, I'm very, very happy uh, with this. I, I really didn't know, you know, they were untested. So, and I told that guy that, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to offer you a price, but these are untested. And so then after cleaning up, well, this is what we got. Looks good. I still have to go through the controllers. Um, controllers, man, I, I make sure that they're clean. I take them apart. And, uh, you know, controller, I don't, I can't be sticky, <laughs> can't be dirty, and I have to feel like it's sanitary. So, well, there you go. There's, there is the garage sale pickup of the day. All right, so we're going to start off things with uh, some unboxings here. This first one is off of eBay. I uh, was able to make an offer on a game that I've been wanting to add to my Sega Genesis collection for quite a while. And this is it. Comic Zone for the Sega Genesis. It's a different type of beat-em-up. And um, I played it on compilations and I just really wanted to have it to play it on OG hardware, you know, on the CRT. So... I um, was happy to get that at a really good price. And uh, then the next uh, game is also off of eBay, and it was $12 free shipping. So, total of $12. And man, I need to drink some more coffee or something here to get this envelope open. And there it is, the Sega Genesis compilation for the PlayStation 2. I have um, 
different compilations, but I wanted it on the PS2. The, you know, I have different options for the PS2 as far as composite and component uh, to connect to my CRT. So I'm kind of looking to looking forward to playing that and seeing how good it looks on the CRT. All right, this next trade, this is a trade from Dad Racer over at the Dad Racer YouTube channel. I will leave a link to his channel in the description. Um, we got together, he just got a uh, Xbox 360 and I have uh, quite a few doubles on some of the Xbox 360 games. I just had a, uh, made a pickup a couple weeks ago. And so, um, you know, I reached out and said, hey man, do you want some, some games? We'll make a trade. And uh, Dad Racer always does something really cool on his trades. He always there's always some type of personal touch that he adds to the trade, and uh, it's just it's really cool. Um, <laughs> so looking forward to uh, seeing what's in this box. You just you never know what to expect, man. <laughs> and there you go. So I'm a big fan of NBA Jam, and uh, Dad Racer is a big fan of Dance Dance Revolution. In fact. You know, there's several times where, you know, we try to get a hold of him and, you know, we hear that he's playing Dance Dance Revolution. So, uh, you know, that's that's one of his um, hobbies that he really, really enjoys. And so that was really cool for him to make that. And uh, that will be on display in the game room. I promise you that. And the Joel NBA Jam head. And you know what? Those are pretty rare. In fact, that's the only one you'll ever find. That's awesome. And that's going in the game room too. Man, thanks, Mark. <laughs> Made me laugh, dude. Put a smile on my face, so that's cool. Um, and then, I don't know how he knew this, but you know, he had some Atari 2600 games up for trade too. And uh, this was not part of it. He just threw this one in. Uh, Moon Patrol is one that I've been wanting for a long time. Just never been able to add it. I uh, have a lot of nostalgia for this game. I used to, I used to go over to my sister's and brother-in-law's house and play it all the time, and so uh, very, very cool. All right, and then we got some OG Xbox goodness, and uh, one of the games that I wanted I've never played, and so I'm looking forward to trying it out. And I think it's kind of a survival horror type game. The Haunted Mansion. So I'm looking forward to putting this in and playing it. Um, really happy to add another game that I did not have to my OG Xbox collection. And then this one I have a lot of nostalgia for because my daughters played it all the time. When they'd have friends over, they'd play it. And you know what? One of these days we're gonna we're gonna have the whole family over and we're gonna play some Fusion Frenzy, man. Kind of hard to do with uh, some of our family spread out. So thank you, Mark. That was another cool game that I wanted to add uh, to my collection. And this is extra again. Dude, you did not have to do this. I appreciate it, though. And there we go. Disney Infinity for the PS4. And I never opened that. <laughs> um, Super Mario. Uh, this is very cool. Super Mario World Instruction Manual. I have the game loose, so that is a really big game for me. Thank you. Uh, head Coach for the OG Xbox, another addition to the OG Xbox library uh, in my collection. So that's cool. Thank you, Mark. Always a pleasure, dude. <laughs> you always make me laugh. <laughs> so very cool. Now this one is a pay it forward from a buddy of mine that's also in our trade group. He was at a, a gaming convention in Texas, and uh, he come across some Atari Jaguar complete in box games, and uh, he was thoughtful enough to give me a call, and uh, said, "Hey, man, you know, here's what they got. Is this is, you know, are you interested in any any of these?" And there was two that I've really been looking to add to the collection that I did not have, um, and I said, "Yeah, man." Uh, <laughs> Well, let's add those. Um, so he went ahead and picked them up, and then I, you know, was trying to make arrangements to pay for it. And he's like, "Hey, man, this is a pay it forward." So he said, "I'm going to send these to you. You send something to to somebody in the retro collective. You pay it forward to somebody in our trade group, and I'm happy to do that. And I've got that package. It's going to go out, dude. Um, I'm going to be paying it forward, and I'll wait and let him if he wants to let anybody know about that." Then 
that, that's uh, that's up to him. So, um, and then he also included, uh, which we'd kind of talked about before. He's like, hey man, I got the Star Wars paper for uh, Star Wars uh, for the 32X. And I'm like, yeah, man, I'm, you know, got the loose cartridge. I want the whole, the complete in box version. So now I've got that. And the box is in good enough shape to uh, restore. There's a lot of things you can kind of do to those uh, old boxes and get them to where they, uh, they look good and um, they'll stand up on their own and, and stuff. So pretty pumped about that. Jason, <laughs> thank you, dude. Uh, there will be a link to his channel in the description. I'm gonna put a link to the video, his latest video, uh, at that convention um, in Texas. He took a really good video. So, Dino Dudes, Evolution Dino Dudes, complete inbox for the Atari Jaguar. He isn't, even has the uh, plastic protector. So, really pumped about that. Very, very cool. I'm looking forward to playing that. And then, I know what I'm getting into, but checkered flag, I wanted to add that to my collection as well. So very, very pumped about that. Thank you, Jason. And there you go. They are added to my complete inbox Atari Jaguar collection. Now I have uh, several loose carts as well. And I've finally gotten over the halfway mark of collecting a complete set of Atari Jaguar games. So thank you, Jason. Very, very cool. I will pay it forward. So after the, uh, the pickup of the Super Nintendo and the NES uh, out at the garage sale, um, the games and, and everything that came with it, I got a very good deal on it. Uh, I, was, I was pretty pleased. And just to show you, um, I've got the, the SNES cleaned up. Uh, it's working, of course. Um, works great, actually, <laughs> surprisingly. And it was fairly clean inside, which was kind of strange. Uh, the NES. Yeah, getting my brain straightened out here, all right. So, you know, turned out real well as well. Um, both of them, one of the things that's kind of cool about both of these systems, I don't know, the, the pins seem really tight on them, and uh, which is cool. A lot of the uh, SNESs that I've had in the past, you know, those yeah, that cartridge slot's pretty wore out. Um, so it's cool to have that, and also, you know, it, it's got the uh, sun, damage you know the plastic has flame retardant it, retardant in it and it it's just going to turn those colors some of them there's there's <laughs> very it's not very often that you'll find some without yellowing on it um, there is one little tiny flaw right there just a little tiny crack on it but other than that i mean the case is in really good condition um, this is another kind of been a problematic thing that i've run into is the power adapter where it uh, goes into the SNES. This one's in perfect condition. Um, I've had a few that I've picked up that were broke or uh, needed kind of a little attention there, modding, if you will. Um, so I'm pretty happy with it. They, you know, they came with all their hookups, power adapters, everything, controllers. So uh, yeah, it was a pretty good day at the garage sale and a really great day with uh, the trades. Um, I can't thank uh, my group enough um mark from dad racer thank you man you didn't have to throw that extra in but i'm glad you did moon patrol is actually one that i've really been wanting for my 2600 i love this game i played it a lot back in the day so very happy to have that um all this stuff man the <laughs> the pay it forward just another look checkered flag Dino Dudes, two uh, Atari Jaguar games that I did not have in my collection. Jason, thanks, man. And I have a care package ready to go out to uh, a guy in our trade group because I'm paying it forward to him. Um, it's going to be the guy that um, everybody in the group would say deserves it the most. Now it's up to him if he wants to, you know, show any of that. I'm going to get it off to him, though. Um, and I think it's pretty cool. I'm feeling pretty good about this. So, um, yeah. So thank you guys for joining me today. Man, I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you guys have a great and safe rest of your weekend.